Hello, hello. Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> Here's hoping that you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, I see Dave Kaufman has just tuned in. Jeffrey Crager, how are you doing, my man? Scott Woodrow, Nicole, how are you doing, my love? Thank you so much. And Nicole, I'm, I've just finished reading our book, so I'm going to be talking about a little bit what he says in there a little bit later on. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, Jeffrey, yes, you're good. All right, I've got a really big question for you so that you can answer it while I'm trying to introduce the show. Um, I want you to tell me, how can I help you uh, to spread word about your business? Can you just type type it in in the, in the comments there while I just finish this? Um, and then I'm also introducing the show. Can you tell me how can I help you, um, you know, pass on the message about your business? Or how can I help you spread the word about what you do? Just type it in in the comments there and then uh, we'll finish that real quick. Good stuff. All right. And in the meantime, for those that are just tuning in for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Prosper Tarovinga. And um, obviously, um, every single day we hang around here with those that already know how the show runs for 30 minutes, where we talk about how to actually help your business uh, to be profitable and enjoyable. And I believe that, um, you know, every online business person that's out there should be able to, first of all, create for and relate to those people, um, you know, that they're going to be taking money off of. And I also teach a simple four step system, which I hope everybody else is familiar with. It's called the Online Prosperity Show, where we help you capture your leads, create content for them, um, you know, convert them into paying customers, and you connect with them, all right? And I lead a team um, of specialists uh, here at Live Long Digital that will help you um, grow your business, especially through digital marketing strategies, all right? So if this is your first time coming through, can you just type in the number one so that I know um, who is here and what to expect? And if you're watching this as a replay, give us a thumbs up um, because that's how we roll. Thank you so much. Now, Jeffrey says, hmm, I'll get back to you once I put more time into thinking of that, all right? Um, Robert says, once it's all set up and ready to fly a public approval of how it's set up, I can get a few more testimonials. Great stuff. Testimonials is one of the things I'm going to be talking about here today. All right. Now you see, you see, you see what I just did there. What I just did there, I wanted to usher us into something that some people take for granted, all right? Uh, this is this is the one thing I really absolutely love about this show. It's because I talk about things that that seem obvious, but a lot of people don't quite know how to actually do it. Now, if somebody asks you, a friend or family or your associate, or somebody just asks you, is there anything I can help with or is there anything i can do to help you let me know do you know what i mean you should have things that are ready um you know you say oh okay yeah you can pass on this ebook you can pass on this link um you can tell people um you know about what i do etc etc all right a lot of us don't have those quick things that people can snap onto so that they can pass on the message about what you do. Nicole says, my business is an e-commerce platform and packaged with e-currency. Okay, that's pretty cool. But how, how can I quickly pass on the message about what you do? All right, remember, people are busy. People just need succinct, punchy things that, you know, when we're at a barbecue, you know this reference, I always talk about this. When people are at a barbecue, how are people going to say Nicole does? How are people going to say John does this? How are people going to say Sally does this? You know, how many times have your friends or family or associates said, you know, if there's anything I can ever do, let me know. And how many times have we said, now that you've mentioned it, here is an ebook that you can pass around. Here is my business card. Here are my brochures. Sometimes we're never ready. We are never ready for when people ask us, how can I help you? Just like what happened right now, I asked, how can I help you move your business? How can I help you pass on your message? And everything I'm hearing is stories. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this now? 
Do you know what I mean? If you're like most people, especially the people that are watching this video right now, you're never prepared for the moment when that offer comes through. Corey, how's it going, my man? Do you know what I mean? A lot of people are never prepared for when that opportunity comes in on, or when, when the question comes in and says, how can I help you, um, you know, pass on your message? Can you imagine how many businesses we're losing? Can we imagine how many points of contact we're actually missing out on just because we're not prepared? If somebody comes to you right now and says, can you jump on a, on a Facebook Live with me or on a video? Are you prepared to speak about what it is that you do? We now live in an opportunity where everybody is a media house. Do you know what I mean? You really got to be prepared about what you do, who you do it for, and how you help people. You know? It, it, it just has to be something that you have prepared. So like most people, as we have just noticed, a lot of people are not prepared to accept help at the moment of which they are they're offered. Nicole says, ask them, would you like to be able to shop less online using less e-currency? I, I don't understand what that is, but I hope, I hope you do have an understanding of what it is that you're, you're offering there. You know? Sometimes we're letting an opportunity slip by just because we haven't given enough thought to the kinds of, of help that we might need from other people. You know? Sometimes you haven't put enough thought or enough, um, you know, concentration as to what is it specifically that you're actually doing. You know? Robert says, you did help me a great deal the other night. Thank you so much, man. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes we do not actually have the connection between the specific words or the specific items or the services that we actually provide that people need. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then, and then you know, and then and, and how we can supply them to people. And Kirsty says, word of mouth. Um, word of mouth is good, but how, how can I help you pass that message? Because word of mouth is what, what we're doing right now, right? We're just talking to our peers and talking to those people that talk. Do you have a link that I can send them to? Do you have a landing page? Do you have like some sort of Instagram? Do you have like some sort of profile where they can see what it is that you do? Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? A lot of us are not prepared for when customers actually arrive. A lot of us are not prepared to actually, we, we spend all this time trying to create a business within our computers and in our heads, but when the, when the crunch actually comes, we don't have a landing page for the customers to convert. If a customer pays you, do you have an invoice to send out to those clients? Do you have a welcome pack? Do you know what I mean? All those things, how can people be prepared to help you pass on the message about your business. The reason why I'm saying this is every single day I speak to six or seven uh, coaches, consultants, or small business people. You know what I mean? And, and then after we finish talking, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. How else can I help you spread your message? Do you have a website, a landing page, or somewhere where we can direct traffic to? Uh, mm, uh, mm. We never really think about things like this. And when help is offered, it is you need to take it to your advantage and be prepared to respond by stating a specific need that you can actually help people with. Katin Dandola, how are you doing, my sister? I hope you had a fantastic weekend. And, 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 and I think Katinda is a specific example of what we're talking about today. Um, three, four days ago, she... She um, she connected with me and she's like, hi, how are you doing? And I think it was around about 10, 10 midnight. Was it 10 midnight, Katinda? Let me know. And uh, we started talking. First of all, I already had a link for her to join a meeting and I was already ready on the other side. So you never know. We now live in, 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 a, in a past 24 hour, 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 hour uh, you know, box. You have to be prepared for when customers really want to speak to you at whatever given time. And guess what happened with Katinda now? Katinda, um, when we started talking, she introduced me to a guy who runs a podcast for African entrepreneurs. 
quickly. What did I do? I jumped onto that and then I sent Martin, who is the guy, all my details and we already had the interview the next day. You know why? Because I was prepared. I had a media kit ready. I had my whole, my studio is ready. My office is ready for me to conduct an interview at any given moment. So are you doing the things that will put you in a winning position within your business any time that you possibly can? I'm going to ask you the question again. If I'm giving you an opportunity to spread the word about what you do, how can I help you? How can I move your word? So what I'm just trying to say is don't let them, you know, the next opportunity for others to help you slip you through your fingers by not being prepared. It might just be a simple request. You know, it will make a real difference to your success if you have things in place. Do you have a meeting room online that people can virtually book to jump on? Do you have a scheduler like Calendly where people can want to talk to you? You say, there is my link. Can we connect in a meeting? I've got, I've got meetings for just about anything because you know what? I don't want to leave my office unless we're talking over $20,000 account. You can have a meeting, a, a coffee meeting with me. I've got a link for that. You can have a discovery call link for that with me. I've got one for those. I run a show where I interview people. I've got a link for that. So you really just have to be extremely ready. For when people want to help you in your business. Because no one is going to wait until you are prepared. Do you know what I mean? So you should have systems in place for your own referral marketing. Right now, if somebody says, oh, okay, that's pretty good. How can I tell my friends or my aunt or my sister about what you do? You don't have a link or you don't have a website. How are you going to get that referral? Then people don't have time for you to be ready. And you have to be as precise as possible. As uh, the, 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 the person who is receiving it has to have the best user experience. That's how people are going to be willing to help you. And there are always people that are ready to help you out. Even during this call right now or during this lunch and learn somebody might see what it is that you do and then they want to follow up with you after the call how are they going to be do that and now nicole says how do i be prepared first of all first of all you really got to figure out you need to know what it is that you do and who you do it for all right and when somebody asks you how can i help you you can say okay i need referrals so that i can they can use my service i need you to refer people to my shop i need you to refer people to what it whatever it is that you're doing you know when when somebody asks you how can i help you you can say okay can you provide me with referrals you know this is the kind of support that you know you're most likely to get from any person that you deal with. Any new customer knows a few other people that are also in the same situation as them. Have you got a, p- a procedure in place for you to get those referrals from them? They may just give you an, a name of a specific individual, their email address or something like that so that you can provide them with, the, with, with, with your products and services. You know, they might give you a phone number. Have you got a system in place for you to call those people and a place for them to go to so that they can register for your services or buy your goods? Do you know what I mean? The more, the more referrals that you continuously receive, so does the potential of you increasing, you know, the percentage of business that you get and you can generate. So what have you got in place for when a referral comes your way? Have you got content for them to start nibbling on? Have you got a landing page for them to leave an email address? Have you got blogs for them to sort of read and get acquainted to what it is that you do? When somebody asks you, how can I help you with your business today? They can introduce you to some prospects. Everyone is dealing with customers in and around their business, but they cannot be providing the same service as you are. So they can introduce you to people they already know that may be interested in your service. How are you prepared for when that business comes around? 
You know? Because when somebody makes a warm referral to you, that relationship is faster than you going around to somebody who doesn't know anything about you. So are you going to make that transition or that, that, you know, that connection easy and, and, and flawless? You know, when you contact, your, your, your contacts right now or your customers can help you build new relationships with people that you never expected. And they can introduce you to, to some people that they think need your product, products and your services. Are you prepared for that when that comes through? So you need to be providing them with key information. What are the things that they're going to talk about when they're at a barbecue? Are you letting people in on what it is that you do and how you provide your service? Because if people don't know anything about you, how are they going to tell people about what it is that you do, your business, or how you can help them? So you need to, 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 to start instilling those stories, that value to the people you're already serving right now so that they've got a story to tell. Another way, if somebody asks you, how can I help your business today? You can ask them to endorse your products on LinkedIn. You can ask them to endorse your products on Facebook. You can ask them to endorse your products anywhere on social media. Because these days, people mostly trust you know, their peer information from other people. So if they can tell others that they've gained, um, you know, insights or if, if, if they've gained whatever advantages by using your products or services, um, maybe it's your presentation or whatever phone call you might have had with them. If people leave a testimonial, that is third party proof that they can help you with in order for you to gain more customers. Have you got a testimonial or review process in place so that when somebody wants to leave you a review, do you make it as easy as possible for them to do that? Have you got a review procedure or a review process that you can just send somebody a link and they can automatically leave you a review? You know? Sometimes most of these things can be done if you're using a WordPress um, site, you can use a plugin called Pretty Links. All right, it's called Pretty Links, it's free. And whatever, whatever your website is, it could be www.mywebsite.com.au forward slash whatever you want. It then links to your, 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 your review pages or whatever it is. If you need help with pretty links, just type in uh, pretty links at the bottom there and I'll send you through the links that you need to, to, to learn about that. All right. Because like I always say, guys, people are coming to the Internet to get information. Are you helping your prospects to know more about what you do if they've been referred to you? Do you have PDFs? Do you have a few books? Do you have anything that... Other people that are, that already know who you are can help you spread the word around what it is that you do. Most of the entrepreneurs that I know, they're failing in business because people around them don't understand what they do or who they do it for. And it's not their fault. The fault is we are not telling people enough of what we do. Yes, we might be doing a few videos here and there, but we're not pushing them across all social medias, are we? So if somebody asks you a question, I'm going to continuously ask this question so that it's stuck within you. If somebody asks you, how can I help you spread the business or spread, you know, the word around your business today, what would you give them or what would you say back to them? If someone says, how can I help you um, spread the word about your business? What would you give them? Do you have PDFs? Do you have the landing pages? Do you have maybe a course or anything, some sort of information or some sort of literature that they can look at so that they are educated on how you can best help either their prospects themselves or other people that, you know, might need your service. Have you made it easy for other people to distribute your information? Do you make it easy for other people to share your content? Do you make it easy for people to plug into your, um, you know, your, your, your Instagram? 
Do you make it easy for other people to to get a hold of your your um your content? Because if you're creating content, are you making it share worthy so that you know some other people find it very useful that they want to share it? Because the reason why people share your stuff is not because they like you or anything else, but it's because it makes them look good or makes them look intelligent. So are you putting in that effort in your content so that people find it so valuable they need to enlighten other people about it? Are you making it easy for other people to distribute your content? Are you making it easy for people to approach you to ask for information? You know? If somebody says, how can I help you spread your message today? I can easily say, oh, you can send people to my blueprint. You can ask people to download my PDF. You can get people to book a call with me. You can ask people to come to my website. You All those things. What have you put in place for people to spread the word on your behalf when you're not there? Have you got information that they can distribute? Because your contacts can help you distribute your marketing material. You know, for instance, you might have maybe, let's say, a dry cleaner might attach a coupon, you know, of, of their services at a hair saloon. Do you know what I mean? So that at the end of the day, their businesses can complement each other. Because people that want to have their hair done could also want to have their clothes washed. So are you making it easy for other business people to help spread the word about what you do? You can, you can find people that are having events and find out if they have show bags and then put your business card in there or your samples in those show bags. Do you have samples of what you do if your product is a small product so that whenever somebody wants to try out, you can send them something so that is instantly they don't have to wait. They can just try out your product. Are you making it simple and easy for people to access your products and to share that information to their to their loved ones? You know, it could be a newsletter or a flyer, anything that somebody can just pass on to the next person. Because that's maybe the reason why, you know, our businesses are not growing. We all have people around us, but they don't know how they can support you because you don't have things in place for them to pass on the message to some people that they catch up with. Lately, cheers, Nathan. Thanks for tuning in. And um, yeah, I was just speaking to Nathan a little bit earlier on and he was surprised how I got in touch with him. Because if you are not, you know, you utilizing other people's platforms or other people's authority already and, and, and maybe asking them to publish information for you or write a blog about you or asking them to interview you, how else can people or other, other prospects know about what it is that you do? Like I said right at the beginning of this show, a lot of people, a lot of businesses have become media houses. They're publishing blogs, they're publishing podcasts and videos. Find out how you can get onto those platforms and spread your message too, you know? You know? You know, your contacts may be able to get, you know, information about you and your business printed in, 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 in their publications printed on their blogs, printed in their newsletter. And that might give you some sort of input or some sort of influence. There's a lot of people that are prepared to help us, but we are not giving them that opportunity by not having the right things in place so that when they say, hey Sue, hey Sally, how can I help your business today? You just say, oh, can you give people this pen? It's got my phone number on there. Okay, so I'm going to ask once again, if I would come around to you today and ask you this golden question, how can I help you spread the word of your business? What would you give me or what would you give so that I can carry that and pass it on to my audience?
figure that out continuously work on those small things that might sound minuscule or not even important and sue mills says happy to help anyone interested in this regard i can pass on my blueprint for content strategy so they can plan how to organize their content thank you so much sue for that and look at this sue was ready for when such a thing happens now she's got a blueprint ready that you can tap into so that you can um utilize and you know get 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 whatever it is that you want thank you so much for this offer sue all right so this is all i'm saying you never know when somebody offers or opens up an opportunity for you to be helped with your business etc etc you gotta have little things it could be a checklist it could be a blueprint like what sue has there it could be samples it could be landing pages websites whatever it is that you have that you know can bring you or bring a prospect closer to what it is that you're offering because people don't understand and people don't have time to listen to you try and explain to them what it is that you do. And Robert says, I'm doing peer counseling and have been for some time. The package is yet to come. That's pretty good, but you got to work on that. And uh, Bobby says, live long and be prosperous. How are you doing, my buddy? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. All right. Because at the end of the day, now what we have is a scenario where you can have, you know, influencer marketing. You can also encourage your happy customers to spread word about your business. But how are they going to do it in the simplest form and the easiest way? Do you have business cards that you're giving them out? Because a lot of questions that a lot of people will be asking is, what can I do to win more referrals for my business? We see a lot of our competitors, you know, you know, getting business this way and we don't seem to be having luck is because they have strategies in place. They have blueprints in place. They have, um, you know, um, you know, lead magnets or little checklists that people can actually, um, you know, just grab right now and pass on and share around. All right. So when it comes to getting business referrals, luck plays a smaller role than you think what matters most is what you do to cultivate these current customers and to cultivate whatever you already have and multiply that into referrals and you you do that using influencers because if you're providing a really good service people are more than happy to 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 pass on that message and guess what happens now when you now have all these little tools that you can start using you can now actually ask people to pass them around. You can ask people to say, hey, can you pass on this blueprint to people that you think might need it? Hey, can you pass on this PDF? Because now your first step is now to communicate with your customers and let them know that you're open to receiving these referrals that you're actually looking for. So wherever you go, you now have the confidence to actually sell your business, you know? You now have, you know, maybe it's a book, maybe it's a PDF that you want people to know or a calculator or some sort of a tool. You need to have those little things in order for people to talk about you at a barbecue or to, to, to incite people to, to, to get closer to your work. You could also use this tool here that we're doing right now, Facebook Live. All right. So this Facebook live, you can just tell people you can actually help them by actually helping them. And in the process, people can share this. People can tell other people to come and join this live. You know why? Because you are inciting and you're giving value. So the next time you really are looking to get customers, find out what am I doing to actually bring them near me? Because sometimes we're not doing enough. You know, we've got customers that write newsletters. We've got customers that have, you know, big numbers on Instagram influencers. I mean, I mean, in Instagram followers. Are we asking them to be on their show? Are we asking them to be on their Instagram? Are we asking them, um, you know, to, to, to be featured in some of the work that they're doing? You know? 
You might feel like, oh, I don't think I can do that. Of course you can. Because the more you don't spread your word, the more you don't show people how awesome you are, how are people going to know, um, you know how good your work is? Sometimes you might just have a few processes in your head that you don't think that other people would understand. Jot them down. Document those processes. And you can actually ask if some other people need to know how to start a Facebook page, how to start a LinkedIn profile. You'd be surprised how many people don't know how to do that. And then that can now become your, you know, way into somebody's, um, you know, into somebody's psyche because you know why you're, you're leading with value, you know, because if you just go in for the sale and you haven't given anything, nobody's going to, to, to want to do business with you or want to, um, work with you because it works with reciprocity. All right. We already have these people that can help us grow around us. We just need to arm them with the tools. We just need to arm them with our blueprints. We just need to arm them with our expertise so that they can help spread the word. And if anything, if you can actually do this, you can actually start marketing to people that are influencers. Because once you make an influencer happy, they're more than happy to talk about whatever it is that you're doing. So instead of you going to, 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 to the one-on-one -on -one customers, you can actually start targeting those people that have got a huge following. But you've got to have something that when they go out to their audience, they have something in their hand that they can say, here's a pen from Prosper, just in case you want to write something. And on that pen, there's probably your details or whatever, what, whatever it is that you have for people to get a hold of you. And just in case you might be confused, you know, influencers are people that have, you know, direct contact with your primary prospects. You can't know everyone out there, but there's some people that are already, that already have the customers we're looking for. So just make sure you've created an ecosystem around you so that when the low hanging fruit comes in, they've got something to nibble on. All right. Around us, we already have people that are already dealing with our customers. We need to find out who those people are and just get in touch with them. All right. So the way you actually handle referrals, you receive will actually solidify your, 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 your relationships with, with those sources and they'll continuously give you people as, as you know, and growing your business like that. And in order for you to wow anyone in this industry right now, in order for you to wow anyone online, it has to, you really have to stand out. So even if it means massaging people while you're talking about your real estate, do that. Whichever way makes people get in contact with your work. Because if you don't lead people in, or if you don't bait people in, how else are they going to know what it is that you do and who you help? And don't forget when somebody has done something for you, don't forget to thank them. All right. You can thank them with a discount. You can thank them with, um, you know, just outright writing a thank you note. You know what I mean? Because once somebody feels appreciated for what they've done for you, they'll continuously do that because you know what? They're not getting it anywhere else. So it's not luck, my friend. You need to instigate and you need to make sure that if you're going to be looking for referrals, you've got the things in place for when somebody asks you, how can I help you in your business today? Or how can I help you spread the word in your business today? All right. I'd like to thank you in advance for sharing this video today. And I'd like to thank you in advance for all the support that you guys have been offering me. Because that's, the, that's how I'm spreading my business. So you need to figure out what am I doing in order to bring people closer to touching the hem so that they can understand how do I help them and how can you offer your services to them. In the meantime, I hope you're going to enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, don't you forget we're here 
to make sure that your business is profitable and enjoyable. And I'm going to try and put out stuff that you never really get out there. And that's just thought provoking, even if it might sound like it's nothing. But if you've got business cards, if you've got PDFs and blueprints and small things that you can just throw around there, you actually stand out more than somebody who's got funnels and websites and has got ads all over the place. In the meantime, thank you so much, every single one of you guys for sitting around with me um, and supporting my dream. In the meantime, have a fantastic week and I'll catch you guys tomorrow where we'll talk about more things that are designed to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Bye for now.